Good morning, everybody. Back to vlogging and back to Cooper. Wow, he was actually sitting today. He was not prepared. But he is going to do the stretch, the shake. It might be the longest he's ever been. I know I say this a lot, but he is breaking records. All right, now you're just now you're just putting on a show. Now you're just bragging. He was doing the roll. Um, okay, and yeah, he just attacked me. So back to vlogging. I know I took about five days off. That's gonna happen from time to time. I'm um, just trying to see what I want to do with this channel because it's like I named it Ryan's Average Vlogs, but it's like there's some days where I don't feel like vlogging like a daily vlogger, but I want to make videos on certain topics, like certain things that maybe aren't perfect for my main channel, but things that I want to put here. So would that be okay if I can start just putting content out on this channel that isn't maybe a vlog with something where I'm just talking with like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, almost like what Shane Dawson does on his Shane channel compared to Shane Dawson TV or something. Not challenges and stuff on here, but I want to put content out on here. It just may not be vlog constantly. I didn't say that, vlogs constantly. And the reasoning is, <laughs> it looks like a cuckoo clock. The reasoning is, there are just some days where I don't want to vlog, and I don't want this to make me miserable. I don't want this to make me upset. I know a lot of daily vloggers told me that it can really hurt you and ruin your life and all this stuff, and I don't want that. I don't want to be sad. So when I am sad or I'm just not feeling it or I'm just honestly sitting at home doing emails and just editing, I don't want to force a vlog for you guys because I don't want you to, I don't want to be fake. I hate being fake. I hate doing that. Hello, everybody. Like, I think it's really stupid and cheesy and corny. So would it be okay if I just start uploading things to this channel? Maybe it's a VMA review where I'm funny and stuff where, like I said, it's something I think is funny but may not be marketable enough for my main channel, which unfortunately has to be marketable because it's a business and you got to make money. To live and survive. Wake up. We need to make money. Um, so yeah, that was just something I wanted to chat about. Go do the normal vlog routine today. Curious to see what you guys have to say about the comments. If you could give some feedback, that would be awesome. Because uh, I just want to start uploading more on this channel without a schedule. Just like, oh my god, I just uploaded because I felt like it, or something was on my mind, and I uploaded, or uh, something crazy happened and I uploaded, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I hope I make sense. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to let anybody down. I constantly feel like in my life I'm letting people down. That's a big thing about me. I always think I'm letting people down. I always think people hate me. I always think people are about to leave. And that's why, like, when my views go down on this channel, I thought that people were leaving and I got really sad. And it... Uh, so just let me know. I'm a mess. My life's crazy. Great. All right, guys, so I just showered. Um, smell better. Apparently my voice still cracks because I'm a grown man going through puberty, but trying to find something to eat has been tough lately because I've realized that I eat the same shit every day. Okay, I don't eat actual shit, but like I eat the same thing. And I've realized that my diet has been so boring lately. And do you ever get in those moods where like you eat the same thing and then you realize it and you're like, I hate this and I don't want to do this again? Because that's been me lately, so I've been trying to like think of creative things to make without messing it up or burning the place down or just ordering. But it's tough to order because it's hard to be healthy when you order. You can't get Chinese food to be healthy because they put a shitload of sodium. And then if you eat healthy, it's really expensive, especially if you go to a place to get it. It's just a real, real piece of crap. It's a real burden. So I'm going to try to figure out what to eat. I'll probably wind up eating something fried and hating my life. And then we're going to go on a walk, and we're going to go on a weave check because it's been a long time. They may not be there. I'm a little nervous about it. I'm going to be honest with you. I thought about it for the last 10 minutes, and I was worried that they're going to be gone. And then um, I have a couple things about YouTube I wanted to talk to you guys about because of some crazy things that have been going on on the site that I know that you guys have been hitting me up about. We'll chat about that, and I'm just going to continue getting dizzy doing circles. All right. All right, it's actually a really, turned out to be a really nice day. It was really gloomy earlier, but uh, nice day outside. As you can see, Cooper, uh, he chewed through, we, we messed up before, where we, we, we had that like harness on him that was really helping him walk well. And then he, uh, my roommate left it on him one night and he chewed through it as dogs do and it was our fault. So he's back on this one until, well, it got dark as hell. 
he's back on this one uh, until we can get him another one because they are out of stock at the local pet smarts so we're gonna try to get him another one soon um, but not a big deal he just pulls a bit um, so not anything I can't deal with so we're gonna see we're gonna go for the straight walk and see if we can uh, find the weaves and this is a big deal to a lot of you guys and it's a big deal to me so we'll see in about a minute if they're there I hope that they are all right guys I think I spotted it from a mile away oh yeah there she is looking a little beat up got some uh, you know let me clean her off real quick here oh now okay never mind that is that is caked on there but uh, some leaves some spiky balls but we're still here there's one if I can't find the second, I'm not going to be that upset, but I think, I think I just found it. No, okay, stop it. If I can't find the other one, it's not a big deal because we still have one of the weaves, and that's what's important. Is that? That's not it. Everything looks like weaves. Weave me alone, people. It's been a long day, huh? That's a good joke. So it looks like I can only find one of the weaves, but that weave looks like it is there for life. I'm going to look a little bit more on the way back for the other one. Cooper really has to go poo-poo. He's really pulling. But uh, we got we got, we got got life, people. We got some weaves, and that's important. Oh, and he, he chooses to pee right there. We are 50 feet away from the dog park. Right there. And he's off. Okay, great. Good job. I wish I could just piss anywhere. I mean, I guess I could, but not legally. All right, there it is. The most cliche dog thing in the world. Peeing on a fire hydrant. I know, like, it's weird to say, but I have such a dog. You know, and I know, like, okay, of course you have a dog, but, like, Cooper does the most basic dog things. He pees on fire hydrants, he chases his tail, he bites the shit out, he bites the shit out of his tail. He looks like that when he poops, which is hilarious. Uh, he just does so many dog things. And I like that, because he's a doge. All right. Nice day. Look at them blue skies. Gorgeous, gorgeous, yeah. I'm losing it, I gotta stop recording. All right, let's go through things Cooper is pissed on. He's pissed on this pile of leaves. He's pissed on this pile of leaves. He's pissed on this pile of leaves. He pissed on this fire hydrant and this pile of leaves. He pissed on that leaf. Let's continue the walk. He pissed on this cigarette thing. He pissed on the tree. He's over there right now currently probably about to piss on the fence. And he peed on that fire hydrant. So there he goes. And there he goes again. We caught him again. Another one. He's peed 11 times so far. And he is just a pee machine today. Successful day at the dog park. Cooper made a couple new friends. He's very good with other dogs, which is good. I mean, he'll play bite, but he never ever tries to hurt anybody, which is good. Um, I, you know, as a dog owner, I always get worried when other dogs come by, just because, you know, you don't want anything to happen. But he's been very good, and uh, I'm going to give him some extra treats when we get back. Also, there was a girl that walked by and was like, oh, she was like five with her mom. She's like, what's his name? I was like, his name is Cooper. And she couldn't say the C's very well, so she kept saying Pooper. So she was like, Pooper, Pooper. And Cooper was responding to Pooper very well. So I guess if I ever have any issues with Cooper, I can just call him Pooper. It's still a good name, I guess. So you're stupid, bud. You respond to the wrong name. He doesn't care. He's just looking for squirrels. Here he goes. Every time we go by a dumpster, he knows there's squirrels nearby, and he goes crazy. I let him sniff a bit, and then I kind of pull him back because I don't want him to go after anything because he's part terrier, and terriers hunt, so, you know, they put their hand up, and their paw up, and then they, like, sniff, and their tail goes in the air. I don't know if he... I don't want him to hurt anything, and I'm afraid he would, so... That's why I let him go for a bit, and then I pull him back. Oh my lord, that was the biggest burger ever. Just destroyed a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cooper wanted to help, but um, couldn't let him do it. So, let's talk about YouTube. 
lot of you guys were asking me questions this week. You saw my guys' tweets and all the tweets, obviously, all over Twitter about YouTube is over party. I've had a couple days to think and discuss mentally what's going on. So basically, YouTube slyly went ahead and updated their policy. Now, they can do whatever they want, right? They can do whatever they want. They can do it whenever they want. They don't have to really tell us anything. But I think sometimes YouTube's for, YouTube forgets that this is a lot of people's careers, including my own. Isn't that right, Cooper? You know that very, very much. And they went ahead and updated their terms of service and policy to the fact that you can't use abusive language in titles, videos, tags, uh, same thing with sexual content, talking about uh, natural disasters is a big thing. Um, even talking, uh, any, anything, anything, okay, that was anything. Anything that's basically negative, uh, that's not ad friendly is what they've said. So if it's not ad friendly, then they have the right to then remove ads on that video. And a lot of people didn't even know. They just, because all they did was change the YouTube, uh, like monetization is a green um, dollar sign, they changed it to yellow. Which I feel like they did on purpose. So they were hoping, I feel like they were hoping people wouldn't know that that happened. And then, it, you know, but people found out. Because you don't get any notification, you don't get anything that pops up on YouTube channel, it just, you just have to look and check, which is ridiculous. Especially if you have hundreds of videos. It's almost like they purposely wanted to do that. So, I think it's ridiculous. I understand that brand friendly um, and, and, and ad friendly, um, that's always the way it's been on brand videos. Obviously when you do a brand deal, you're not supposed to curse and stuff, but if it's not a brand deal, um, then what's to say that I can't say shit or fuck? Why? Why? Why not? There's no reason for that. If you want to start age restricting things and saying, okay, you know what, uh, if you're 13, you can't watch this video, because, okay, whatever. But to take off the ads for videos like that is censorship. They're also taking off ads on videos about uh, people coming out and the LGBT community, which is insane. And it's just, the thing with YouTube that sucks is the same thing that Pokemon issue people were having with Niantic who developed Pokemon is, YouTube is, is lacks transparency, meaning YouTube could solve all of this by just putting out a blog post right when all this stuff is trending. I mean, you have the number one trending topic in the world about your site ending, and there's nothing for uh, almost a day. You know, they still really didn't say much. Put out some sort of blog post, put out some sort of official statement, calm people down, explain it a bit, say, whoa, whoa, chill out, relax, because yes, we overreact, everybody does. That's the way the internet is. But YouTube is very, bad at being transparent and explaining what is going on and also give us a heads up a couple months before say hey by the way check you know, be careful about this this and this or hey watch your tags for this watch your titles for this but they're going back on old videos that are three four years old how can you restrict us from videos years ago we didn't even know that there was a thing so if you put the policy out now Okay, if people break it and they know, okay, but they're, back then you didn't even have that policy, so you're then taking it out on other YouTubers and content creators. Stop! You're taking it out on other content creators for videos where that policy didn't exist. And to me, that's just not fair. So, I'm sure there's going to be answers, I'm sure they're going to make some slight changes, but at the end of the day, YouTube is going to do what YouTube is going to do. That's just the way it is. They have a plan, the higher ups. YouTube employees are good people, but it's the higher ups that are doing these things. So, hopefully some things change. I'm sure that they're gonna do a little bit of damage control. Hey! I'm sure they're gonna do a little bit of damage control because they have to at this point, because um, they don't want this to get too out of hand, more so than it already is, so. I think I'm okay. I'm gonna keep cursing in videos. Um, I'm not gonna make my title with that and you know have cursing in it and things but look if 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 i lose ads on a video for saying shit then that is insane and i'm going to do my best to fight that and figure it out i'm not going to change who i am or how i talk be because that's what youtube is about you you know you you can't censor that you can't censor you shouldn't censor creativity and creativity should never have any type of hold on it you should be able to do whatever you want on youtube um under legal ramifications, of course, but cursing is not illegal. Talking about natural disasters is illegal. Talking about talking about coming out isn't illegal. All these things aren't illegal, and I think YouTube 
needs to stop being so extra, take a step back, relook at the rules, and just figure it out. So is YouTube ending? No. Am I ending? No. I don't think anyone is ending. I don't think anything's gonna really kill anybody, in my opinion. But the fact that they did that is alarming, for sure. It's a little scary. <laughs> it's like if you worked at Best Buy and they came in and said, all right guys, your whole department that you work at, you work in cameras, it's gone. Why, we sell cameras, we, it's gone, you're gone. You can't sell cameras anymore. You're over here, you're doing this now, you're doing exactly what we tell you, but it's like, you know, someone comes in and just Fs everything up. I just said Fs, I'm, they're censoring me. Oh my God, but we'll see what happens. I think that we should just remain calm now. <laughs> Everybody has their day of freaking out. I was loving my uh, tweets, I had fun with it, but I think everything's gonna be okay. I still don't have health care. I probably never will. Um, but I have a cool dog and a cool apartment and everything is good. So, sorry for blabbing. I'm sure at this point, honest to God, I'm sure only 50 people have watched to this point. If you are and did, comment. I watched to this point. <laughs> there will be 20 comments, I guarantee it. But yeah, so that's my thoughts on that. A lot of you guys were asking for it. And uh, I just wanted to give you my opinion one on one. And I hope that you appreciate it. But with all that being said, I am probably going to end the vlog here. I have a long day tomorrow. I will be in New York City for my friend's birthday. It looks like Cooper is talking. That's good. Hey Ron, I'm glad you're going to New York City tomorrow. That means you won't be here. And that means I will be, okay. And that means I will be able to have a good day because you won't bug me because you make fun of me on Snapchat and you use me for views. So it will be great to have a day with my other friend, my other roommate, the better roommate, where he doesn't do anything bad to me because you are awful and I hate you. So please go to New York and never come back. Right, okay, so that was very rude of him, but I'm gonna be in New York tomorrow. I might vlog it, but uh, you know, it's gonna be like one of those fun days where I don't wanna be, you know, it's weird when you're with friends and don't YouTube because it's weird when you're at friends because, you know, you don't know what they want to be filmed and it's a birthday, so I don't know if they're going to be drinking, yeah, whatever. So, we'll see how that goes, um, but, it, it well, life goes on. Like I said, this channel might even just start being videos that I just want to make regardless because sometimes I feel, even though you guys aren't bored by my vlogs, sometimes I'm bored of my vlogs, if that makes sense. Sometimes I'm just like, oh, I don't want to film myself walking the dog again because I feel like I always do that and I feel bad. And even though you guys don't mind, I mind. So I want to start uploading. I might literally up start uploading like two videos a day sometimes. You know, if I really feel like it. God, you know? Is, I hope that's okay. It should be. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Sorry for not making videos this week. I, I really do apologize. But there's, you know what? I don't apologize because it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have to apologize for that. So I will see you guys right here whenever the hell I upload. Just stay tuned. Look out. Enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna always keep sneezing, that's for damn sure. <laughs>